The Wildlife World Zoo Aquarium and Safari Park has a new family member, so let's head out live and meet them for the first time on TV. Christy, I'm very excited about this, but oh my goodness, you got the giraffe right by you. Oh, wow, this is awesome. <laughs> Isn't this so cool? So this is actually one of our mama giraffes and she's almost pushing me off the side here. So I'm careful where I'm stepping, but we are literally right here next to them, which is so exciting. And you guys are the first to get to see our babies. And it's so exciting because not only do we have one baby or two babies, we have three babies just in time for our giraffe jam coming up this Saturday. Yeah, okay, let's talk about these baby giraffes because, I mean, they are so incredible to see, and they're pretty tall already. How tall are babies when they're born? They are actually six feet tall when they're born. 150 pounds, they drop six feet after birth, start walking shortly after that. They're really remarkable animals, and they're amazing ambassadors for their species, because unfortunately, the giraffes in the wild aren't doing so well. There are actually four times as many uh, elephants in Africa as there are giraffe, which shocks most people because usually when you think of African conservation, giraffes are not the first animal to come to mind. So not only is it a big deal for us at Wildlife World, but it's a big deal for the world of conservation to have such a successful giraffe breeding program. Yeah, and I know you travel over uh, to, of course, some of those reserves over there to learn more about what we could do here. And one way is coming out and supporting the Wildlife World Zoo and seeing these giraffes and donating. Uh, and of course, being a part of the Jaff Giraffe jam that's coming up. Yeah, so the giraffe jam is this Saturday. We have the link to register on our social media and on our website. Now, a hundred percent of the proceeds that we get from the giraffe jam go to boots on the ground conservation. We donate all the money to save giraffes now. So it's a great way to support a very needy cause and also to have a lot of fun. So last year was our first year doing the giraffe jam and we open up the zoo early. You get to run or walk. 5k through the park and it's so fun because the animals are not used to seeing this so there were animals running alongside of the runners it's for all ages we have incredible medals and i see a shadow in my background okay, okay. brad yeah. this is something i know you'll appreciate we have oh. our handsome daddy bradley wow look how big he is how big oh gosh he's probably pushing 18 feet tall. He is oh massive. He wow. was actually out here earlier, but I think he went back to the barn to get a little snack, but he came <laughs> out to make an appearance for you. Oh my gosh, that is so amazing. Can we look at the babies really quick again? I know she's been, they've been hiding behind everybody, but can we, can we get it there? There goes one right there. There goes a shot right there. How fast are they? How fast are giraffes? Oh my gosh, okay, so these babies are really quick. And what's so fun is that they are having so much fun playing with each other. With the three youngsters out here, they're running around. They get the zoomies, kind of like our dogs do at home, kick. And you know, they're just getting used to their long legs. And it's just a blast. Anyone can come out and see them up close, but we encourage everyone to come out for Giraffe Jam. So, look at that. They know when the cameras are on them. Look at that, clean up. Like, let me clean your face, you're on TV. Oh my gosh, it was so amazing. So uh, <laughs> let's talk about, of course, uh, saving giraffes really quick, Christy, because um, we know there's a drought going on over in Africa. So what can we do here in America to our part, of course, of helping this uh, a cause? Absolutely. So really the biggest part of conservation is funding. All these different conservation groups are looking for that funding. Without funding, there is no conservation. And it's always good to find a group that is there on the ground trying to make a difference, working with the local people and coming up with sustainable solutions. And that's why we support Save Giraffes now here at Wildlife World, because we know 100% of the money we donate goes to saving these gentle giants. Oh, I love it. Okay, we know out in, the, out in the wild they eat like trees and bush. What are you feeding them now? So right now they're getting their favorite pellet and it's a part of their diet. I mean, they get fed all day long. We actually need the help of our guests to feed them. So we have a giraffe feeding platform where guests can come out for a couple quarters. You get the same food and they'll eat right from your hand. Cause it's one thing to see a giraffe on TV, even in an exhibit. It's a whole nother thing to feed them because they have a tongue that's over a foot long and it's very slobbery. <laughs> oh my God. And their necks are just incredible incredible just to how they can come down that far and everything uh, oh my goodness so all right 
Tell them again yeah. when the Giraffe Jam is and how people can get involved. It is this Saturday, November 12th. You can go to our social media or our website to sign up. And you'll want to get here early. We start at 6.30 and you get to go through the zoo. You get amazing metal shirts. We're going to have swag bags. We're going to have a really cool party at the end of the race at the finish line with Dylan's Kansas City Barbecue. Over 70 vendors, uh, silent auction, 50-50 raffle. I mean, the list goes on. It's going to be a lot of fun. I love it. Christy, can we get one more shot of the, uh, of the baby drafts as we go out here? Uh, again, you gotta go check it out. It's all on uh, AZTV.com. Look at them. Oh my goodness.